What is up, Facebook? What is up, everybody in general? I have some huge fucking news for you guys. Ah, oh, sorry about that, guys. That's something that wouldn't come off the inside of my lip, but I have huge news for all of you guys, and I mean huge news. Like, I'm in tears just thinking about it. I mean, it's in a good way, but... I know what a lot of you are thinking. That, you know, by the title... You know, you guys are probably thinking that this is just another letdown. But... Let me tell you guys something. I finally got my shot. I finally fucking made it. My best, well not my best friend, but my good friend Kathy King hooked me up with this band named Seventh Heaven and the lead singer from that band, Richie, got in contact with me and wants to help me get somewhere. He's not promising me millions of dollars or anything like that. But he is promising to help get me going. My first show is either going to be in a couple months or within this year. At some point within this year, my first show is going to be out in Chicago, Illinois. Shadow Blade is finally making a stand and making it. Shadow Blade is finally going on tour. I'm finally doing it, guys. This is legit for real. This guy is for real. He is not some other dude to clown around with. And if you guys don't know who 7th Heaven is, look up 7th Heaven, Time of Our Lives. They're really good. They've got an amazing sound. I love the guys' music. Like, I'm on, like, I'm hooked. But, like, right now, like, you guys don't even know, like, how... Like, this opportunity is not just another joke. Like, this is, like, legit for real. Hey, what's up, Conrad? Like, you guys can't even begin to imagine how big this is for me. This dude could be off doing God knows what. But instead, this guy is taking his time out because this guy used to do wrestling and acting and stuff as well. Like, he used to do some small-time acting and actually did wrestling back when the WWE was the EEW from way back when. So, like, this dude's got a lot of experience on the stage underneath his belt. But... You guys don't even know, like, how life-changing this is for me. Like, I know I've talked in the past about it being real, but this guy is for real this time. Like, he showed me the proof that he is legit for real. Like, we sat down and talked for, like, two to three hours straight earlier this morning. Like, this guy, like, he is phenomenal like right off the bat he was like I can tell your sounds different I love it and you want to know what his exact words to me were his exact words to me were this you have worked very hard to get where you're at you deserve this chance more than anybody else you deserve this shot those were his exact words to me And he said straight up, you know, like, I'm not offering you a million dollars or anything like that. But what I am offering you is an opportunity to finally make things happen for yourself. 
Like, this guy is going so far out of his way that even if I were to repay him in the end, no amount of money could amount up to the opportunity that he's given me. Like, this guy is going so far out of his way. Like, this guy is just so amazing. So, Richie, if you're watching this, what is up, man? Thank you, Richie, so much. Like, you can't, I can't even express to you enough how much this opportunity means to me. Like, this guy, Richie, he literally is going so far out of his way that he literally is, you know, going to be buying me all new gear for my music. Like, he's going to be buying me a laptop to continue my stuff and make it even better. Um, a phone to keep on hand in case, you know, the house phone goes out. And, like, he's even working on an actual costume design to suit who I am, not only as a person, but as an artist. He's making a suit to reflect myself and where I'm at now. Like, this dude is going so far out of his way. Like, he's got all the connections. And, like, to have somebody of this status to just say, hey, I want to help you. Because I believe in you. Like, this guy literally sat down and told me that he actually believes in me and what I'm doing. And he told me this. He was like, forget all the fucking haters. The haters don't mean shit. The people that drug you down, fuck them. There's only, there's a, only a very few handful of people that you need to be doing this for. Because we were getting a little bit personal and I was telling them about, you know, how, you know, my two best friends and brothers, Zach and David, had passed away from, you know, David being the drowning accident. And, you know, Zach being the Akron pizza shop murder. Well, he straight out said, he was like, if you're going to do it for anybody, do it for those two. Because those two believed in you. Those two wanted to see you make it. And he's right. They did. And a lot of you might not know this. But David and Zach are two of the very biggest reasons. As to why I even started doing music. Like I started with nothing. I started with nothing. Nothing. In 2010, like, I had no idea what to do, how to do it. Like, I know I didn't show it a lot. But you guys can't begin to imagine the blood, sweat, and tears that I put into all of this. And the battles that I've had to fight. Like, I've had to fight people taking my shit every day in the past. And I still do from time to time, but it's not as bad now. But I've had to fight battle after battle after battle and, you know, take on fake deals and stuff just to find out if they were for real or not. I mean, that's just the way it goes, you know. You, It's just trial by error. But when I got connected to this guy... Me and him, like, we clicked automatically. Like, I'm just like, this is just so surreal right now. Like, the fact that this guy actually wants to go out of his way to help me to the fullest extent. It's just, it's amazing. Like, I've never had anybody that truly wants to do this. Like, I've never had anybody willing to step out of their way who's in the major part of things to do this.
Hey, I will, man. And you have a, you have a good one, man. Be safe. And hey, also I'm gonna be sending you a um concept design of my first ever comic book character. So be watching your chat, Conrad, because I'm gonna be sending that to you here shortly. But this guy is truly amazing. Like, like I said, I know I've talked about it in the past, but there's just, this guy is completely on a different level. Like, he's not making promises that he can't keep. Like, he's actually saying, hey, this is what I want to do with you, and this is how I'm going to help you get there. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. But, like, this dude wants to get me my first show. The first thing he said to me when we were talking about booking shows for me was, he was like, I want you to have your bags already packed and ready to go out that door at a moment's notice. Because as soon as that call comes in, that you're getting booked for your first show. Like you and your family are getting flown out here. Or driven out here. Or we're getting you out here somehow. Like this dude is for real. Like. I mean. To have just like. To go from a normal life. To this. It's just. This is everything I've ever dreamed of. Like. And just to do it, to do it, wasn't my goal. My goal was to not only make it for my brothers David and Zach, because yeah, they did believe in me, and they really, you know, had pushed me. And honestly, if it wasn't for them believing in me, I probably wouldn't be doing music. I probably would have given up first chance I got. But, you know, I'm not only doing this for them and for you guys who believe in me, but I'm also doing this for the kids who don't have shit. I'm doing this for the kids who look different, who are different. I'm doing this for the kids who have special needs, who get bullied and picked on every day. In doing this and making myself famous, I not only am going to be, you know, opening doors for special needs kids, but I'm going to be shoving so many stereotypes down the drain. I'm going to be able to show people that, yes, even though I may look different, I'm still doing this. Am I nervous about getting up on stage? Of course. But honestly, there's no place. On this earth, I would rather be than on that stage rocking it. Because being on stage is where I was meant to be. Being on that stage is where I belong. And I'm finally getting that chance through this guy, Richie. This guy can be doing anything he wants. This guy can be releasing a new album and not give two fucks about me. But what does this guy do? He hears my story. He hears what I'm going through. And he actually gets down on that level of, okay, this is, you know, what we can do. I want to help you. I mean, he's just a normal guy like me and you. This guy doesn't act famous. He acts like a normal person. Hell, when we were on the phone, we were sitting down joking around about the craziest shit. Like, this guy might look and act famous when he has to, but this guy is just, he's so humble and, you know, just straight up awesome to, you know, see somebody like that, to, you know, act as normal as me and you on a daily basis and willing to help somebody like me out to go out of his way to take time out of his schedule 
to do something like this. Like, it's incredible. Like, I can honestly say, you know, no, there's no amount of the money in the world that I could pay this guy at the end that could thank him enough for this opportunity. Like, this is just, like, so fucking surreal that, like, you know, his exact words to me were that you deserve this. You worked very hard to get where you're at, and you deserve this chance. Those were his words to me. Like, he is just the most humble and amazing guy, and, you know, like, I owe this opportunity to him. Like, if it wasn't for him, I'd probably still be trying to promote my shop and trying to make money that way, which I still will be doing. I still will be promoting my shop. So, I mean, if you guys want to go in there, as a matter of fact, if you guys have not checked out the shop yet while we're on the subject, you guys can click the link up there at the end of this live stream. The link will be up there in the description for you guys to click on the merch or the shop link and check it out. And the cool thing about the merch that I have set up is that if you buy, say, like a hoodie or a hat or a coffee cup or a shirt or whatever, any of the merchandise that's up available on the shop, you get the full extended edition of my very first official dubstep album, Urban Warfare Deluxe Edition. It includes 10 tracks plus a hidden bonus track. So you're not only getting great merchandise, you're getting great music for free as a free download with each purchase. But with that being said, you know, for all of you that have, you know, supported me, like Gunny, my boy Phil, who just popped in, what's up, bro? Um, you know, Stephen Hobbs, um, Soldier Hard, Sabo, and, you know, and some of my best friends on this planet, like, you know, my little sisters, Crystal and Miranda, and... You know, my one of my biggest fans, ultimately, is Snowbell. And, you know, everybody that has just supported me has just been... Hey, what's up, Maria? Like, you guys don't know, like, how supportive you guys have been to me. Honestly, ultimately, if it wasn't for any of you guys believing in me and pushing me to keep going the best that I can, I probably wouldn't have this opportunity. Like, I would probably, honestly, if I didn't get into music, I would probably, probably be bored off my ass doing YouTube videos right now. Like, not that doing YouTube videos is boring. I'm not saying that. I enjoy doing that 110%. I really do. Like, I enjoy that. But, like, you know, to have a career doing the one thing that I love more than anything, which is music, you know, it just, it's incredible, like, I'm just, you guys don't even know how incredible this really is for me. The fact that this guy is going so far out of his way to help me out because he believes in what I'm doing and the cause that I'm fighting for, it just, it's incredible. I mean, yeah, I've had some really cool-ass opportunities to do some really neat things in the past. Like, you know, if you guys have gone to my YouTube channel and checked out the video for, or the movie, Through the Eyes of a Child, which is a documentary that was done for Operation Smile. Um, Operation Smile was actually generous enough to send me the clips and have me put it together as a documentary, you know, that was something really cool. 
What up, Joey? What up, Dallas? Like, and, you know, and to find out that, you know, at the end of that documentary that um, Sully Erna from Godsmack, he actually found out about the project and was gracious enough to let us use his song Through the Eyes of a Child for the ending song because he felt that, that song really represented the documentary and what these kids go through. So yeah, Operation Smile is a very big, huge part of me. You know, something I've done since I was a little kid almost. Like, I started doing it back in 2002, because that's when it first came out. About Operation Smile, that's when I first found out. As a matter of fact, if you guys have not seen the movie Smile, that's how I found out about it, was the movie Smile. Because it talks about Doctor's Gift, which is basically Operation Smile. And, you know, and believe it or not, my now past older brother, Bill, his best friend, Kevin's um, cousin, um, actually played in the movie. Um, so, I mean, you know, to see that happen and to even say that I know anybody like that is actually, I know it sounds far-fetched, but even just talking about it, um, as a matter of fact, the one that did play in it was, that did play in the movie Smile, I believe, was... It was Bo Bridges. Kevin's cousin, Bo Bridges, actually played in Smile. He actually played the teacher. Or not the teacher, but he played the main girl's father. So, you know, to get to see that, that was something pretty unique. But, you know, just the fact that I've got this opportunity to finally make my dream come true, this is amazing. And I'm not promising that I'm going to have a good day every day when I do this. But I can promise you guys this. That when I'm up on that stage rocking it. Every single one of you who are watching this right now. Every single one of you who have held me down since day one. And have believed in me and kept me motivated. It's you guys that I'm doing this for. I'm doing this for all of you. And all those kids who don't have anything. I'm doing this for the kids who are misunderstood. I'm doing this for the people like me who don't have anything. You want to know what I started out with? A couple of shitty beats in my mind. That's all I had. And now look at me. Look at where I'm at now. And it's thanks to all of you. It's thanks to my brothers who have given their life. Not only to defend this country. But also my brothers who have passed away from tragic incidences. Who believed in me. It's because of all of you that I'm sitting here right now talking about this. You want to know what I started out with the looks wise? When I first started out, I started out with my sleeveless hoodie. With my black and red sleeveless hoodie. And this. A Japanese bandana. Like, that's where it started with for me, looks-wise. 
you know, that, that was my first costume. As a matter of fact, this was actually, you know, given to me by my dear friend David before he had passed away. I had it hanging on my bedroom wall for the longest time in a frame until the day came where I was like, you know, I need to use this. So this is definitely something I will always carry with me on every tour. Like I will be wearing this around my wrist or something because this is part of me. David, you guys, everybody, you guys think I'm just going to up and forget every single one of you? No. I will remember every single one of you. To the day my cast gets closed and the day I stop doing music and retire, I'm going to keep rocking that stage for all of you. For everybody. But with that being said, I gotta hop off here because I got some stuff I have to take care of. But like I said before, if you guys still want to purchase my merchandise, the link to the store is in the description. You know, right up there. It's going to be up there at the end of this video. So if you guys want to check my stuff out, go for it. Um, like I said before, with each purchase of each item, you guys do get my full album Urban Warfare as a free download. So like let's say you guys purchase say a coffee cup. You guys will get the full album as a free download to boot. As my gift to all of you, that is my gift to you with each purchase. But like I said, if you guys want to check my shop out, it'll be up there in the description. All you gotta do is go there, click the link. Easy to find. But with that being said, I gotta get out of here. I got stuff I have to do. Because I got a life-changing experience ahead of me. I've got a new life ahead of me. And it's because of you guys that I made it. So thank you all. Anyways, guys, I gotta get going. I love every single one of you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So thank you all very much. And I promise you, I will not let any of you down. I will rock that stage to the fullest. I will rock that stage till it fucking breaks. Well, with that being said, I'm out of here. Like I said, you guys know where the shop link is up there in the description. Go there, check the merch out. Buy it. You know, trade around, do whatever. Well, you guys, much love. Love every single one of you guys. Um, like I did say, you know, like I know I'm kind of repetitive with the shop link, but you kind of have to be that way. But like I said, if you guys truly want to support my stuff and support what I'm doing and where I'm going, click the link in the description, buy my merch, download my free album in the description there with each purchase. And when you do, you know, like when you do get the merchandise, let me know. I want to see pictures of that. Because that's something that I can never, you know, like, thank you guys enough for, is the support. So, like, if you guys do buy the merchandise, send me pictures, tag me in it, video it, something. But with that being said, love you guys. I'm out of here.